course, if you haven't done so right now, as Noelle mentioned, would be a great time to get the Fox 44 app because those severe weather season it's going to continue roughly through August, but the peak of season for Central Texas really going from March through June. Fox 44's meteorologist Michelle Trotter joining us live now in the Weather Center to explain why. Michelle? Yeah, Leslie and Robert, during the spring months, that's when the temperatures start to climb and the south winds start bringing in that moisture. All you need for thunderstorms to form is moisture, lift, and rising instability, unstable air, which is the warm air we talked about earlier. From March to June, more severe weather and tornadoes occur over Oklahoma, Texas, and Kansas. Then by the end of June to August, the threat moves to the Great Lakes and High Plains. The reason why the severe weather threat moves to the north during the late summer is because of the that the jet stream, I should say. The jet stream is strongly tied to the southern edge of the cold air from the northern pole. During the winter, the cold air expands and extends nearly all the way to the Gulf of Mexico. As the winter ends and the spring approaches, the hemisphere begins to warm up and the cold air begins to push north, meaning the jet stream does too. The, the jet stream is associated with upward and downward air, and the upward air is instrumental in producing thunderstorms. So when the stream starts to move to the north, and as the winter warms into late summer, so does the threat of severe weather. And that's why it's important to stay weather aware over the next couple months. Live in the Weather Center, Michelle Trotter, Fox 44 News.